calm down, Doctor. Now is not the time for fear. That comes later. Good evening, everybody. Calm Viker here. Ah, wait a minute. Good evening everybody, Calm Biker here, and it's time for another TDM Tuesday. And tonight we're playing with paint. Hooray! Before we start though, let me show you what we've got done already. So since last time we've been a bit busy with the primer. This is just a 1K high build primer that we've been uh, putting on the various panels, getting ready for colour. Still not telling you what colour's going to get on there, but um, it's going to look pretty we think. So that's the nose, we've got the tailpiece all primed and the tank is also primed. And the last piece that's primed is our favourite, the one we've spent so much time sanding and filling and repairing and sanding and filling and repairing and now priming. So this is ready for paint. Now we thought about rattle canning this but it's come out so nice that we're actually decided to go out and buy some paint special for it. So we've got some nice matte black 1K. I'm going to put that on today and see how we get on. Hopefully it'll be as good as new. So what we're going to do with this, before we get on to uh, the nice paint, weirdly we are going to use a bit of rattle cam. All we're going to do is put a really light mist coat over the whole thing. So it'll change the colour a bit, you'll see it, but it's not covered. And then we're going to sand that back. And the idea is that once all the black's gone, we know we've sanded every last part of this piece. We know it's all keyed and smooth, and it's ready for the proper paint to go on. And hopefully, we won't get any reactions because this will be gone. So this is how light a coat it is. It might even be difficult for the camera to pick it up. Let's see if I'm getting close. Very, very fine mist over the entire panel. Because the more I put on, the more I have to take off again. So all we're doing now, taking off that black, getting it good and keyed, ready for the paint. And trying not to go through. Very light sand in this. So you can see the difference here where it has been sanded, probably needs a little bit more, and where it hasn't, and definitely needs a bit more. Are you finished yet? No. Are you finished yet? No. <sighs> you finished yet? No. You finished yet? No, ten minutes. Still sanding. 
Are you finished yet? Nearly. Done. I think we are done. Come and have a look at this one, Tosh. So we're pretty much there. We've gone through a bit and made the uh, primer a little bit thinner than it really should be. But we are going to be putting a ghost coat of black on this before we do the proper uh, wet coats. So, all in all, not too bad. Not too bad. And because all of the black has been gone over, we know it's all keyed. So it's time for paint. key here is making sure that the panel is 100% clean otherwise the paint job will be rubbish Reminds me of the treacle I had as a kid. Now we're not actually sure what the ratio is for paint to thinner for this particular paint but a rule of thumb is if I put a drop on the edge it should run down at about an inch a second so let's try it. Mm, not bad, maybe a little bit thick another dribble but we're nearly there. Time to get this thinned paint into the spray gun and one of the most important things we need to do is make sure there are no contaminants in it. So I've got a nice little strainer. This will remove anything bigger than 190 microns which is tiny. So paint in the gun. Now I need to set the gun up, so I've got the paint in there, need the gun set up. I've closed off the fluid completely, I've closed the fan completely, so nothing comes out. You can see, nothing coming out. This gun likes to run at 45 psi, so we'll start with that. There's that. Let's have a bit of paint. Nothing there. Bit more paint. A little bit. That's more like it. And then we'll have a bit more fan because that's a bit, bit of a small point. So a bit more fan. That'll do nicely. 
Right, last bit of preparation on the part before we spray it. There's bound to still be a little bit of dust on there that we can't see. So we have a tack cloth. Now this is basically a sticky cloth. So that when we wipe over the part with a nice fresh piece, any remaining dust sticks to that, not that, and then we're clear. We've panel wiped it, there's no grease, we've dusted it with our tack cloth, it's then ready for the paint. Now that's all the prep work done, time to paint. Safety first, this stuff is very nasty. Not as nasty as 2K, I wouldn't be painting that, but I'm still going to use a mask. is the first coat done. Not too bad. I got a bit a uh, bit too much paint there but not enough to run so it doesn't matter. Uh, but it gives an idea of what it's going to look like. It looks very nice. You can still see a few bits through. Obviously we haven't got a decent coat on there yet. It is just a ghost coat. But certainly compared to the rattle can satin black I think this is going to be nice. Nice bit of matte. Wait for that to dry, and then we'll put another coat on. Alright, let's take a precautions. PPE. Oh what? I could have said I was not going to say I'll get a reply. No, 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 it's PPE. It's Earthworm. Are you sure it's not Tim Fedby? No, no, no. No, Tim Fedby. Well, well, it's not Tim Fedby then, but if it goes wrong, it's your fault. Yeah, uh, so it was. There you are. Okay. Cart number two. Cart uh, number two? Cart number two. Uh. I think this gives the tin character. Or I might just like making a mess. In a way, if I just borrow this, in a way, it's a bit like that it gives Tosh character. What? Round three. Now in a dusty garage you're bound to get a few bits of dirt in your paintwork. We have. So we're going to nib them out with a bit of 1200 grit. The lightest of touches just to get rid of those bits, flatten them back down. Then we'll blast it off with air from the gun and carry on painting. Here's a nasty bit so we'll just lightest going over and it's gone. Now to blast off the bits of dust that are left. Now in case you don't know, the gun has two settings. That's just there. Got to squeeze more for paint. Ah, 
that's the final coat of paint on. We'll just leave it to dry. And we're going to leave it for quite a while. So I'll come back later. Right, we've left the part overnight to dry. And here it is. And I, uh, if I say so myself, it's pretty nice. Pretty nice indeed. So if you imagine what this was like before, in pieces and a complete mess, I think we've done a, a reasonable job there of putting this thing back together again. And of course it's a part that you can't really get hold of anymore. So they're, uh, they're an older bike, they're not readily available, quite rare, and the parts don't tend to turn up at scrap heaps and what have you. So I think that's a salvage job and uh, we're discussing it with Tosh, he thinks as well that uh, this could be our best job on the bike so far and possibly the best job we'll do. So thanks for watching everyone, ride safe and we'll talk to you all again soon.